Hello and welcome to the demo for Hero Kato, the delivery hero. I think it's like Hero Kato because you're a cat. Um, but yeah, I've, I've seen this a couple of times on uh, on Twitter. That's probably the first place I saw it. And as a guy who likes playing his cats, just likes cats, like it was something that was very, very much a game that kind of stood out to me. So I'm happy to finally be able to get a chance to play it. Now it looks like it might be a little bit of a precision platformer, which is going to be difficult for me, but that's okay. I love the, uh, the animation. Uh, oh, mission failed. Poor kitty. Year 2032. The world hasn't been the same since the shift. Yet you remain a simple cat. There are not so many of your kin, either. Now you deliver food to make a living. Life is good. Come on, Kato, hurry up. The orders are ready. I need you. I feel like the, the volume went uh, even louder than it was. Alright. Oh, man, now we skipped all the things they were saying. Oh, well. We'll just run through downtown. Oh, the infamous double jump. We all know cats can do that. Humals versus human statue. A huge statue that depicts the aftermath of the war between humals and humans. Its stoic figures symbolize... probably symbolizes the shift in power, showcasing a world where human bodies house the essence of formidable creatures. The monument stands as a testament to the altered course of history and the emergence of a new era ruled by humals. Oh man, people lost to, like, animals? Oh, it's, it's always, like, disappointing to hear. I guess it's probably what would happen, though. Press J when speed bar turns this color, like, purple? Is that what it means? Oh, wait, it was like a dodge or a roll. Hey, Kanto. Oh, I was reading that, Mr. Big Face. All right, we got three levels. Uh, City's Awakening. Let's go, Hirokato. Go, go, go. Oh, man. Uh, like, it's definitely like I, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, so I have to kind of uh, make some assumptions. Oh, God. Oh, he fell in the water. Cats don't like water. Except for my cat, she loves water. Alright, so it looks like you actually slow down a little bit um, from the jumps. Dang, man, I'm really bad at this. Like, Tuesday is usually my day off from gaming, because, uh, you know, it just, just happens to be. Uh, I usually take a break so I can kind of unwind. I think I got a checkpoint. Dang. I just got an achievement. I, I don't really know what it was. Uh, it definitely seems like, um... It wasn't... It was an ideal achievement. Like, it says it was, but... I almost feel like this um, speed boost is kind of like a negative, like, like not that the speed boost itself is bad, but uh, that you have to be a certain, you know, skill level to actually use it appropriately, and I don't have that skill level. Oh, you know what? I didn't think you could actually move backwards. I thought you had to keep going uh, in one direction. Uh, but you can, you can, you can move backwards if you need to. Oh, there's like a timer base. Oh man, this was like one of those. Things where, like, if you don't get your pizza in within 30 minutes, you you get it for free. And I'll lose my job. Oh, 
I like how the music has kind of changed a little bit in a way to kind of make me feel like I'm a failure. But I mean, overall, I mean, I would say that um, I think uh, this has been a pretty positive experience uh, so far. I'm just bad at it. Dude, I'm hurrying as fast as my little cat legs will go. I'm gonna probably make the mistake again because I, I, I keep wanting to jump there. All right, didn't do it. All right, we got it. We made it. I don't know if we made it. I don't know what's happening. Great. Wonderful. Like, I'm definitely going to lose the order. Uh, I guess this means there's a good chance that I'm never going to make it past level 1. That's actually really sad. I have 20-something seconds to, um... to get wherever it is I'm going. I... I there's like a... There's timing that you have to... There's, yeah, I don't know. This is, um... I definitely... I've died. Mission failed. Time out. Well... Can I try a different level? Is, um... Can I, can I just... Can I, I just want to try a different level. I'm not good at stuff like this. I really want to be good at it because I think this is adorable. Um... You know, absolutely adorable cat. Like, uh, the pixel art is fantastic. Um, yeah, I can't, um, I can only do one level. Well, I'm gonna try this again. Um, I will be honest, uh, despite the fact that I do like this game, because I really think it looks beautiful, it's uh, some really fantastic pixel art. Um, the platforming mechanics are sound. Like, I mean, the game runs great. Uh, I, f I feel as though the game has done a very good job making platforming, uh, both engaging and interesting. Uh, the way it works, it definitely, uh, gives you this kind of learning lesson that um, as you play, if you kind of don't get things right, that uh, theoretically, you'll um, you know, know what to do the next time because you've kind of done it and failed or whatever. Um, but there's a bit of precision that like, I, I do not have. And uh, that's causing me to um, kind of struggle pretty bad. And that's not like the game's fault, that's just I just don't have that sort of precision anymore. I mean, I've done much better this time, but... Here's this final jump here at the end that I don't... I don't think I can do it. Never mind. Well, never mind, I spoke too soon. Which is funny, because I just did, like, this thing where I had to push space a bunch of times, and I just, like, realized I was uh, a bit too slow. So now it seems like it's a real thing. I really am too slow. I don't have the precision required to play games like this. I'm actually kind of sad about that. But I did it. I finished it. Now we get to do the second level. The night after. Oh, no, no, it's not continue, let's just... You know, cats are innate climbers, right? Oh, okay, well... I feel like there's something hidden over here. Uh, can I... 
Alright, well I thought maybe I could like roll or something, I don't know. Oh, you can. But I don't think I can get... Oh, there's a trick. Oh, never mind, I guess you can't do it. I was so hopeful. Can I talk to you? I cannot talk to him. Dang. There is a huge amount of uh, charm and, you know, really just um, a lot of, well, I mean, I don't know, like, there's so much detail thrown into the environment um, that looks, like, really good. I mean, the pixel art is fantastic. Uh, I have to say, it's, like, easily, like, one of the best-looking uh, games uh, I have played in a in a little while so I am a huge fan of pixel art though uh, you know having grown up with an NES uh, the Amiga Commodore 64 you know all that good stuff um, so so it's you know kind of cool to um, see games that uh, make such amazing use of uh, really good pixel art I don't know why I'm like messing that jump up I will say that when things go right, uh, you definitely feel pretty good about your skills. Uh, but I will say it's kind of hard, like, until you've actually done the route before. Uh, and for people like me that have, like, the memory of a goldfish, um, like, it's not going to matter. This would definitely be a game that I would, uh, jeez. This is definitely a game that I would have to play when I didn't have anything else that I wanted to play. And that I was willing and able to just kind of spend a large amount of time essentially practicing. Uh, or, or a game that I was, you know, able to take. Or, you know, honestly, I would probably have to take a bunch of breaks because, um... You know, I, I can only fail so many times before I start to think, you know, that I should rethink uh, my life decisions. Which is kind of like what's happening right now. Oh, dude, you're rushing me. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna happen. We need to not rush me. Hooray! Ah. Well, you know, it, it, it might. I might make it. I don't think I'll make it. I have no confidence in myself. It's definitely kind of hard to get the double jump right. Uh, cause it's, I don't, I don't know, it's, it's not, I just, I'm not, I'm just not very good at this. Um, anyway, but I mean, if you've made it this far, like, I want you to know that, like, I definitely recommend this. I think this is a very entertaining game. I think it's really best for people who really like, um, you know, games that are, uh, kind of speed-based. Like, if you're doing, like, a speed-running, uh, competition or something... Um, I think this would be an amazing game to uh, kind of throw into your your selection of games to try. 
uh, despite the fact that I've died like a billion times, uh, it's not really frustrating. We did it. I'm so proud of myself. Sushi, just the way I like it. Cold. Bye, Kanto. Yeah, your sushi was not... I mean, it was... I mean, that's how sushi typically is, right? Oh, you know, they're not very happy about that. My cat has a house. Seems like they have a better apartment than I do. Kato and Shiro. Shiro? I don't know. Picture frame with a photo of Kato and Shiro on it, taken at the bay six years ago. It has dust on it. That's a pretty old picture. Well, I guess that means that, like, humans aren't completely gone, so that's kind of cool. I would have gone with manimal. Oh, yeah. Or humanal. I don't know. I mean, like, humanal. Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, I think humanal's still good. You're just telling me the same stuff I already knew. Oh, alright, that's how we get out. Uh, I wonder if I could have done that before. Oh, how did I pull that off? Well, on my way to the very last level available in the demo. I'll miss you, Hirokato, and your cool reflection in the water. Alright, yeah, let's go deliver this thing. Uh, and in case you're wondering, is this better than Suicide Squad? The answer is yes. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be on the same kind of bandwagon that uh, speaks rather poorly of Suicide Squad. I just didn't think it was a very good game. Um, obviously, this is a bit different because you are a cat who runs around and delivers things. But there are some similarities. Um, and the similarity is that you rely on speed to do a lot of movements and stuff. Uh, so, you know, I think it fits. Uh, but I, I definitely think if this has a much better movement mechanic. Um, it's certainly more satisfying when you um, kind of pull things off uh, correctly. I mean, it's much more um, disheart or disheartening when you uh, pull things off the wrong way. Oh, Glad there's like, well, I don't know, maybe there is like a scene at the end that tells you kind of how many times you've died. I will say that's probably the one of the harder uh, parts of the game is when you're trying to do your double jump um, where you have to uh, kind of, I guess, have a little bit more precision. That's a little bit harder. That's why it's like hard for me because this I really like this game, but it is it is definitely kind of it definitely falls in the precision platformer category, and it, I typically stay away from them just because I don't have the precision uh, for such. How am I supposed to do this if every double jump puts me, like, too far? Maybe it's just one jump. I guess we'll try one jump, and that's, that's, that's probably it. That'll make me sad. It's not, it's, it's not just one jump. 
But I can't, I can't seem to do it. Like, I can't, um... I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I just need to stop, like, trying to move. Uh, if I don't, um, succeed here, which I most likely will not, I'm gonna try it one more time, but I'm not going to try it again after that. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop at that point. I, the game still gets a very firm recommendation from me. I think it's really well done. It has some excellent platforming. Um, you know, it has absolutely beautiful pixel art, uh, wonderful music. I mean, there is nothing bad to say about this, except for I can't make this dang jump. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I, I really like this title. Uh, <laughs> But it's, it's it's too hard for me, man. I'm trying. I'm tr really, really trying. But this jump, I cannot figure it out. Because um, if I, tr I, I just... The only other thing I can think of is maybe I don't need to go all the way to the top. Well, that certainly isn't going to help things. Uh, but it would be cool if I figure it out in time to... Um, I guess try it... I guess. I, I don't know. No, I, I don't know. I don't know how to make this jump. I'm sorry, Hirokato. We're not going to do it. I'm not going to try again because I don't want to fail anymore. That's been enough. All right. Anyway, that's Hirokato. Hero, Kato, whatever. Uh, the Delivery Hero. Excellent game. Highly recommended. Uh, the link's in the description if you'd like to try it yourself. Uh, there's three, at least three levels in the demo. We got to see all three. I didn't finish the third because it's, it's really hard for me. So, anyway, thanks for watching.